Hey Earth Signs, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is for anyone with Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus in their charts. Um, this is a great little video series for you guys to check your placements if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, want to cross watch, okay? Just a little check-in. Please do feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, check out the weekly all signs soul contract reading okay as it pertains to this but there will be a timestamp below either in the comments or the description box where you guys can find your personal reading okay we'll start with the collective we'll pull some general energy that's surrounding the earth signs and then i'll go into your individual messages so for the oracle this week we pulled the child within inner mother innocence gentleness tenderness we can be so hard on ourselves, expecting to heal according to a schedule and beating ourselves up when we make a mistake. The rose wants us to release all hardness from our bodies and hurt from ourselves. To find a way to soften, to remember that no matter what has happened, is happening, or will happen, we're all innocent children of the stars and the earth. The flowers are here for us. They're a safe, soft place to remember. They want you to nurture the child within. This is a card of gentle reassurance and compassion. It brings a message of gentle understanding and tenderness. It's reminding you to treat yourself like the innocent child that you are. Isn't that something like my kids crying in the background? Okay. Mm -hmm. To take your inner child and let them rest deeply in the soft petals of your heart. We all have a child within us who at some point went into exile because they were hurt or because the world didn't feel safe. And no matter how much we've grown, when, we're, when we as adults are hurt or triggered, it's normal to regress to this age and feel overwhelmed by the original motion. And while we can't change the past, what we can do is scoop up the child within and place them in the soft petals of the rose of our own heart. I really love that a lot. Okay, if you guys take a look too, I mean, the imagery is really beautiful. If you have been with me on my channel, you know this is right up my alley. <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this reading. Let's see. General energy surrounding the earth signs, please, spirit. Ooh, Virgo energy there. A decision. Making a choice to listen to our intuition. To go within. Let's see. The earth signs. First week of August. We have the magician. Wow. Virgo Gemini energy here. What else? I love this. Manifesting, you can have what you please, especially when you're honoring your inner child, my loves. Absolutely. Okay. We have the Ten of Hedgehogs, which is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And Suspension in the reverse, which is the Hangman in the reverse. Pisces energy. This is your energy as well, okay? Earth signs. So we're manifesting a new type of happiness, a new happily forever after. It's deeper than love. It's the whole package, okay? Security, health, wealth, love, peace, harmony. Very interesting. The Queen of Cups is the shadow card, okay? So being open, coming from a place of nurture, right? Being so full, we nurture those around us. Yeah, we're definitely bringing something here. Some of us may find out that we've been manifesting our own unhappiness as well, or that we've been settling, okay? So let's move in, sorry, to the timestamps, okay? And I'll see you guys there. All right. Let's do Taurus. Hey, Taurus. How are you, angels? Let's see what is going on for you. Can we first clarify this ten of pentacles in the reverse it's the only thing you have control over page of cups the nine of cups in the reverse lots of emotion here ten of wands in the reverse yeah we had to let go of thinking someone was going to get why they wronged us okay or be the person we know that they can be it's like we had to disconnect from that we also may have been waiting for someone to it almost feels like um damsel in distress energy tell me about the hang down please in the reverse suspension in the reverse please queen of pentacles the hermit in the reverse we saw that earlier virgo energy and there we go. 
the hangman in the reverse. Isn't that interesting? When we come to this new understanding, it's like whole new world energy. It's interesting, I'm getting a lot of princess references right now, but it opens up our mind. I'm getting opens up the gate, the floodgates, whatever that means. Oh. Um, it provides us a new pathway that we did not see before, we didn't understand it before, to where we can come out of that hermit mode, okay? And we can start building, it's action. It's like we took the time to adjust, to take in, and now there's action here, because there was some type of moral inventory taken. Tell me about this magician, please, for Taurus. Yeah, Taurus is like, I can't wait for this anymore. I have to release. And by you doing that and not putting yourself, because it does, it feels like you're dimming your own light or you're waiting to start something. And as I say that, you know, I had pulled the fool here. So you're manifesting this new beginning, the lovers in the reverse. And death and, well, it's not, it's just death. Scorpio energy, Gemini energy, Aries as well. Three major arcana is clarifying the magician, what you've manifested. You begged for closure. You begged for happiness, for something new, okay? Something about, I, I don't want to live this way. I need something. Taurus, check out your August reading, okay? It's out for sure. It's in your playlist. But this is the ending to settling in love, work, the company you keep. Uh huh. No more living in autopilot. This is severe. Could we possibly just clarify the lovers in the reverse? Okay. Yeah, we may have been distracted by possibly love, a relationship, distracting us from feeling some deep trauma, or we may have played out some childhood wounding. Remember our oracle, okay, the card of the inner child here, the child within. Um, that may have been exposed in relationships where our wounds were, which brings us into the energy of allowing death to be here, to transmute okay those demons so to speak but it's just wounded child just to validate that pain nurture that pain and build a new foundation where that pain doesn't exist okay that's a lot i highly suggest again you watch your august reading because it's like the only way through is th through you know let's get some divine guidance and then definitely if you know your other placements check those out as well okay very heavy lots of major arcana this week Taurus. the queen of wands in the reverse yeah you may be going through a separation right now a breakup i feel like a lot of you lost what you thought was forever page of wands the magician in the reverse yeah the universe is allowing you to know okay that there's a calling that you're having and you need to lean into that and not try to force what is obviously not in flow okay that's the advice that the universe has for you i hope that that helps again check your other placements check your august reading and i'll see you in the next one all right virgo hey virgo babies how are we how are we how are we we are looking at the magician the ten of hedgehogs in the reverse and the suspension in the reverse so i'm curious how this is going to relate to you the queen of cups which was the shadow card earlier for the collective earth signs is popping out you are in your heart space maybe bringing your heart more into your life that had a little bit um of an underlying energy in taurus's reading let's see let's do the suspension in the reverse for you uh-huh okay 
a lot of you may be letting go of something that feels like it was haunting you for a new beginning okay or finding your passion again i feel like this is almost like cutting off the head of a snake so this may be an external energy somebody you just met have sexual chemistry with maybe in work or maybe this is your impulsivity mm, you're the thunder mm -hmm. eight of cups in the reverse could be someone from your past Somebody may be, you may be cutting off someone from your past where you're like, I can't give to this anymore. There's nothing I can do to help you. I have to put myself first is how that feels. Four of swords in the reverse, the high priestess. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I've been living for someone else. It's time for me to live with me. This almost has like children leaving the nest too. It doesn't have to be love. Okay. It's just like this new chapter where it's like, well, now I can live for me. So let's see. Ace of Cups in the reverse. There, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Capricorn energy coming out, the devil in the reverse. Exactly. We were obsessed with this idea of happiness, whether it was a person, um, what our salary was, our position was, our reputation was. And now we're like, I was chained to that. And you may have had, the universe may have had to like interfere to take this away from you. Or maybe again, you just gave it up i was picking up addiction earlier and now that the devil's here maybe this is addiction for some of you for sure but it's um yeah it feels very self for self but like battle of the inner demons hmm manifesting please the magician your energy wow Okay, we're just trying to find some balance because there is still a heavy energy, obviously. We saw that, okay, what we were cutting off. Um, again, head of, head of the snake, right? Or demons, something like that. It's like conflict to try to do the right thing or to heal something with somebody. Spirit saying we have to do it. We have to face this. I feel like this is what you're going to have to slay, like slaying your demons. But look. There we go. You guys have been manifesting something in alignment with your heart and soul and working hard on it. This is a mindful manifestation. You worked hard for this. Good for you. Yeah, that might just be what this is. I, I fought for my alignment. I fought for my destiny. I fought for my life. Maybe. Advice, please, for Virgo. That's what's up. Six of Wands in the Chariot on the break. That's what's up. You do deserve it. Absolutely. Now you can go forward in success. I'm telling you, Virgos are some of the most luckiest. <laughs> no, they're amazing manifestors. Two of Cups in the reverse is your advice. Okay. It's not about love is one message I'm getting. Look at that. See, Six of Cups, the world in the reverse. That's what I mean. You need to connect with your inner child, Virgo. Okay. We saw that in the Oracle. Nurture it from yourself, find your relationship with yourself, with your soul, with God, and don't seek that outside of yourself. That may have been what the lesson you're just coming out of was, what you had to cut off, okay? Giving your power away to someone else, right? That's part of the closure, okay? That's what keeps you trapped in this bubble, all right? But I see really good stuff for you. Check your August reading for sure. And again, if you know your other placements, um, moon, rising, Venus, okay? all that good stuff check those out i hope it helps if you need a personal you know where to find me all right oh i didn't mean to do that okay silly we have capricorn left hey Cappy caps how are we my capricorns let's see what's going on for you what is changing here that you consider your overall happiness redefinition Redefining. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. High Priestess. Pisces energy. King of Cups in the reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with the Pisces. Regardless. Intuitively, we know that something we were trying to carry or keep together or have in our life, it doesn't fit. It's not fulfilling. 
we can't ever find a balance. And intuitively we know this. We may not say it, but we know it. We see it. Suspension in the reverse, please. Lots of Pisces energy showing up for you. Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Queen of Cups. You need to see a new perspective on what happiness means when you're connected, when your heart is open. There's something that's calling out to you here. It's missing, it's missing, it's missing. It could be love. We have the King and Queen of Cups, but the King is in the reverse. It could be a divine counterpart. It could be a balance of feminine and masculine energies as well. The magician, please, define this for me for Capricorn. The magician, what are we manifesting, bringing in? Uh-huh, wow, the nine of cups on the magician. You guys are really like, I want this so bad. Some of you are trying to manifest a soulmate or healing a past love. I see it, I see it, I see it. It couldn't work before, yup, see? Four of wands in the reverse, two of wands. Oh, I see. You want it now. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that patience. I want my Ten of Pentacles now, 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 now. Yeah, Six of Wands. Yeah. Wow. It's like you know what will make you happy, but you feel like you're without it. You're like, this is what's missing. Capricorn. Let's get some action for you. That's interesting. It's like, I know exactly what's missing. Why is there no movement? That's my question. So what are we doing watching a tarot reading about it? Oh, because it would require major shadow work for you. Nine of swords in the reverse and the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Mm -hmm. You'd have to face your fears and look at maybe what is in our shadow that needs to be healed within us, that we need to grow. Yep. There we go, are again. More Pisces energy with the hangman, the reverse, and the eight of swords. How have we kept ourselves stuck? Why have we never found the connection we're seeking? I thought one flip, but okay. Yeah, see, it did. Something's hiding, and it's the truth, and I don't understand why. Why are you hiding a conversation? Or the truth. That was symbolic. It was there. It was flipped over. And it's like, I knew that. I feel like somebody even knows, or you know, that you have to tell this somebody how you're feeling. Hmm. There's a lot of anxiety, but you're being asked to do it. You're being asked to have this conversation. Anything else for Capricorn, please, spirit? Wow. Yeah. Why? Be honest about the broken heart. Yeah, that you're not happy without... Oh. Oh. We learned what we lost. I see. This may be a past love. Could be a past job offer too, but... um, Yeah, it's an I want it back type of a thing. Your advice is to have a conversation about how you feel. Okay? Maybe about what you learned. Okay, how you got in your own way in the past, all right, as part of that energy. But I do see success for you as the shadow energy, right? Twice I saw that six of wands. That's a big deal. But I think that you need to honor your inner child, okay? Give your soul a voice with that ace of swords. Don't avoid it, all right? But that's what I'm saying for you. Check your other placements, okay? Check your August video. Like, share, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye-bye.